Okay, what I want to do real quick is a short video on going through installing a C compiler for Mac OS. So if you want to do any C development locally on your system, you can do that. So this is going to be with Mac OS Ventura. I think it's the latest release right now. It should work on several of the previous releases. I think you'd have to go like three or four releases old for this particular method not to work just because uh, Apple changed the native compiler that's built in. However, it's just a very, very simple fix if you're on an old enough system that this doesn't work. So I'll show both commands because they'll both work on any system at this point, except for the one I'm going to show may not work on older systems, but there's an alias for the old one. So it shouldn't be a problem. So let me go ahead and swap over to my desktop. Let's get started. All right, so first thing, I wanna come up here, just open up Spotlight, open up Terminal, and let's try to clear this out. And I want to run this command right here. If you run clang minus minus version, it is going to check the version of the clang compiler. This is the default C compiler that ships with Mac OS now. If you run an older version, you would run for one GCC minus minus version. Now this will work on a newer Mac system. So if you're on Ventura or I think Monterey or something with other old ones are, this should still work. GCC is alias to CLang, but if you're on a recent version, we'll just go with the actual real compiler. And this is gonna pop up, which is important. I'm gonna see Ace code select, no developer tools are found, requesting install. So it's saying that CLang's not installed, but thankfully they have a installer here. The CLang command requires a command line developer tools, which like to install the tools. We're just gonna click install real quick. Go through, hit agree. It's buying the software. It's just gonna install it real quick. So download software. Uh, it's not gonna take 40 hours to do that. So take a little bit. This is simply just installing all of the command line tools necessary for us to do just a bit of development and take about a minute i guess now nope it's downloaded it's installing now this generally should take maybe a minute or so not too big of a deal should not take 13 minutes if i digress so essentially i also want to come over here and open up a text editor. I'm going to use VS Code. Oh, yeah. Visual Studio Code. All right. So this is the text editor that I choose to use. You don't have to use this one if you don't want to. I personally like it. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so you can see. And then I want to come over here. I want to open a folder. I believe all my stuff currently is in documents. Oh, I need to open up Finder real quick. Go to documents, and I just need to unarchive this. There we go. Now I need to go open that folder. And sure, did find it. Document. There we go. Open this. Okay, cross authors, yes, that's fine. I need to delete this. It's just from, I actually archived it whenever I was zipping it up. But essentially, I'm gonna check the state of our install. Yeah, I got a few seconds left. So before I talk about what's in Visual Studio, make sure that this is done. Go back to our terminal real quick. Put this out, and do ceiling my test version. And now you can see that the Apple ceiling version 14.0.3 is installed. It's a fairly old version of ceiling. That's not a problem. I think the most recent version is like 16.0.6 is the time of this recording, but this should work just fine for what we need. So I'm going to exit out of this. And now we can actually focus on the files we have here. These are the same files I have in the previous video for a coding session on functions. I'll have it linked up in a card at the top. 
but if you want to look through how this works you can go to that video but essentially you have a main.c a temp.c for function definitions and then a temp.h for function prototypes what we want to do is compile all these files together to a proper executable so what i'm going to do that is open up this new terminal it is essentially just what we had previously it's a zsh shell that is going to be integrated to visual studio i personally like it because i can just close it anytime on a new window not necessary this is just part of the reason i use this particular text editor but what i want to do clang i'm going to do well real quick let me do ls minus l real quick and you'll see the files in our current directory which is this main.c temp.c and temp.h which is exactly what we have over here so i'm going to do clang dot slash for my current directory main i'm going to start typing main and I hit tab it'll autocomplete dot slash temp it'll autocomplete enough dot c i'm going to hit enter and now you can see up here in the top left we have a dot out so if i run my a dot out so just type that in dot slash a dot out and you'll see we get the actual results from running our program so this is a very simple way to get the compiler installed which is just run some command with clang in the terminal per preferably i do clang minus minus version just in case it is installed it'll tell me what is installed in the system so i know it is and if it's not it'll say hey clang's not installed and it'll give you a prompt to install it. and then once you do that you can check it again make sure it's installed just fine and then you can start actually filing so overall it's a pretty simple system overall it's generally straightforward now if you try to install some other installer then you may experience some issues i've had some people have an issue where they had clang set up on the system but it wasn't detectable by mac os itself i know i've had some major mac os updates like going from i forget what it was before ventura i think it was monterey going from monterey to ventura threw some stuff off if that happens that's going to take a bit more troubleshooting but if you don't have anything installed you should just go to run clang it'll give you the prompt hit install and you should be fine now it might take a little while but once everything is installed you know and then you can check it yourself by using ceiling minus minus version and then you should be off to races so overall hopefully this wasn't too bad hope you learned something and i'll see you next video bye